Last time at Nashville, Joy Logano and Denny Hamlin lead the field to green. On lap 40, Josh Balicki is slow on the track, and the caution comes out for d debris. Yeah, that, that's more than just debris. During caution, lightning would strike nearby, and this would red flag the race for a little bit. A few laps after the green flag dropped, Hendrick Motorsports decided to take out two of their drivers. Hendrick is going to have a great day today, aren't they? Chase Briscoe and Ty Dillon crash in turn number two, and of course, Ross Chastain was nearby. The battle for the Stage 1 win would come down to Denny Hamlin and Martin Truex Jr. Truex would hold off Hamlin and win Stage number 1. Rain puts this race under caution, but it wasn't much, so we keep going. Oh wait, never mind. The race is under red flag for lightning again. This shouldn't be too long of a delay. Okay, and it's nighttime. The race restarts and the battle continues to be between Truex and Hamlin. Truex again would prevail and win stage number two over Danny Hamlin. Ryan Blaney goes for a spin off of turn number four and barely touches the wall, but he should be okay. During the pit stops, Christopher Busher decides to give his crew a vacation and lose a tire. Chase Elliott takes the lead off the restart and holds that lead until Josh Balicki blows an engine, bringing out the last caution of the day. The race restarts with four laps to go, and Brad Keselowski and Cole Custer slide up into the wall and now are slow on the track. No caution for that as Chase Elliott leads to the- wait, hold on, sorry. No caution for that? Really? Well, that kind of makes sense after the backlash from the All-Star race. Chase Elliott would hold on to the lead and go on to win at Nashville.